Hi, <clears throat> this is Stephen Breyer from Rant Rally Community College. Um, I think my videos have become uh, disjoint in the sense that um, I don't necessarily have some cohesion to it. Uh, I created a number of videos regarding binary, but I realized what I was missing is uh, an introductory uh, a video on, on binary. Um, well, other than what was in the chapter um, introduction. Um, and so let's compare to base 10. Uh, um, so if we think of when we're dealing like with, uh, 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 with, with, with base 10 numbers that we have, if this is 1,327, um, first of all, each digit has 10 possibilities uh, from 0 to 9. So there are 10 possibilities for each digit from uh, 0 to 9. Um, and so like in terms of if we were adding on to this number, so suppose we add 2, 7 plus 2 is 9, right? And then 2, and 3, and then 1. And then if I added one more, if we add 1 to this number, to this 1329, sorry, 9 plus 1 is 10. Well, we don't write 10 here. We do 0 and we carry the 1. Uh, 2 and 1 is 3. And then we have 3. 1, 3, 3 up. Um, and the reason why I'm pointing that part out is for the next number system we're going to look at, which is binary, if we're adding two binary numbers together, um, we have to make sure that we don't stick a 2 <laughs> as the, the sum of something because 2 doesn't exist in uh, binary. So in um, uh, binary representation, um, there are only ones and zeros. So there's two possibilities, 0, 1, 0 to 1, um, and we refer to this as being uh, uh, base 2. Um, and if um, we had a number and we added 1 to it, you know, I am doing a huge jump ahead, um, but I'm, it's to illustrate a point. So 1 and 1 is 2. Well, we can't put 2 down here because it's binary. Um, and, and so 2 in binary, so 1, 0, this is 2 to the 0, this is 2 to the 1. Um, and so this 1, 0 is 2 in binary. So 1 and 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 and 1 is 0, carry the 1. 1 and 0 is 1, 1. Um, so it's just something to be mindful. We are doing um, addition and binary. Um, that if you think back to the way you did addition in uh, base 10, it's the same. It's just that we're dealing with a smaller um, possible set of values, which is 0 and 1. Um, okay, so if we're looking at a binary number, what is it in terms of the underlying uh, you know, decimal? So if we see 1011, what does it represent? Now, I started doing that over here because I went out of order. Um, um, each digit, well, let's come back over and look at this number for a second. So our onesies position, we can think of it being as 10 to the 0. Our tens position is tens to the 1. Our hundreds position is 10 squared. Our thousands position is 10 to the 3. And now I am taking this base 10 number and representing it as base 10, but just kind of if we stop and think about how uh, base 10 works, uh, you know, 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, 10 to the 3, so we have our 1, 10, 100, 1,000. Then when we're dealing with binary, um, well, remember we had 0 to 9, so that's how we got base 10. So 0 to 1, that's base 2. So the rightmost digit is, that's a 2. The rightmost digit, <laughs> the rightmost digit, sorry. See, I'm, I'm rep replicating what would happen in the uh, uh, <laughs> classroom. The rightmost digit is 2 to the 0. That's our 1's position. The next one, 2 to the 1. The next one, 2 to the 2. 
the next one two to the three. And so now if I wanted to figure out what the decimal number is, I would then do so one times two to the three plus zero times two to the two. And what'll happen going forward, uh, um, what'll happen going forward, sorry, that's a plus, is that I'm not going to show the zeros part because zero times anything is uh, zero, but zero times two to the two plus one times two to the one plus one times two to the zero. So two to the three, and that's eight. So we have eight plus, well, zero times anything is zero. Zero plus um, two to the one is two. Two plus, um, and one times two to the uh, zero, two to the zero is one. So that's one. Um, so eight, nine, ten, eleven. So this is the, um, I'm putting a little one zero here, um, but this binary number is the same as our um, 11. Now remember I jumped ahead and I took this and I added one and I got to that. So if, we, if we're doing base 10, 11 plus 1 is 12. Let's take a look at this number to see what it is. So this 1100. Zero, zero, if I look at, so 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3. Now I'm not going to show the 0 parts, but what this will be is 1 times 2 to the 3 plus 1 times 2 to the 2. So that's 8 plus 4 is 12. And so that's the decimal equivalent of this um, binary number um, right here. Okay, so now let's talk about ranges. Whoops, I'm having a little um, hiccup. Wait, let's... Sorry, I want to start this over again. <laughs> a little hiccup in the video. I apologize. Um, so talking about ranges, if we're thinking of base 10 um, and we're talking about unsigned numbers, um, so zero would be um, so the smallest. And let's say we're talking about only doing four digits. 9999 would be um, the largest. Now, normally when we're dealing with base 10, we don't show any leading zeros. Um, and I wish I had lined this up a little bit better, but suppose we're, we're dealing with four digits, then we would say the smallest unsigned um, base 10 would be 0000. zero, zero, zero. The largest would be 9999, because if I tried adding one to this, it would go to five digits. So this 9999, that is the largest um, base 10 number that we can have. If we refresh our memory as to the bases, so 10 to the 0, 10 to the 1, 10 to the 2, and i I got to get better on my spacing, 10 to the 3, okay, so this leftmost digit here, this is 10 to the 3, um, right, so 9 times 10 to the 3 plus 9 times uh, 10 to, uh, squared plus 9 times 10 to the 1 plus 9 times uh, 10 to the 0, so then this would be, in terms of base 10, when we're dealing with four digits, um, the largest number that we can have. Well, if we think about what 10 to the 4 is, 10 to the 4 is 10,000. This is one less than it. So 10 to the 4 minus 1 is 9999. Ugh. Okay, 10 to the 4, because that would be the next digit over. Um, so 10,000 minus 1 is 9999. Okay, why are we doing that? So talking about binary, if we're dealing with 4 bits in binary, 
then the smallest unsigned number in four bits would be 0000. zero, zero, zero. The largest one would be 1111. One, one, one. And so thinking of what that number is, so 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, that's a 2, 2 to the 3, um, so 8 plus 4, sorry, I had a little um, interruption again, um, 8 plus 4 is 12, plus 2 is 14, plus 1 is 15. So when we're dealing with our unsigned numbers, um, the smallest value is 0, the largest value is 15. Um, and if comparing to what we did over here, the next bit over, that's 2 to the 4. So 2 to the 4, which is 16, minus 1 equals our 15. So when we're dealing with unsigned numbers, based on the number of bits that we have, it would be, in a sense, what you could also say is 2 to the number of bits minus 1. Or you think of, for the number of bits you have, what is the next place? It's that minus 1. So that would be, then, the um, um, unsigned range for numbers that we have. Um, so then if we are dealing with 8 bits, Okay, if we are dealing with 8 bits, 2 to the 0, 2 to the 1, 2 to the 2, 2 to the 3, 2 to the 4, 2 to the 5, 2 to the 6, 2 to the 7. So the next one over would be 2 to the 8 minus 1. And let's say for right now, you you haven't yet, you know, well, well, two ways to do it. Um, so 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. 256. Um, that's that's one way to do it. The other is, and I just kind of want to as a reminder, so that if you are trying to, um, um, you know, just go through to make to verify what you're doing. Um, so two to the eight is 256. Um, and so just a reminder that the calculator that is on Windows computer, when you go into scientific mode, there is the x to the y. Um, and that's how I was able to then do the 2 to the 8, just a way of just double-checking your, um, um, your math. So 256 minus 1 is 255. So one of the slides that the author has that I have in Canvas um, has for 8-bit, 16-bit, and 32-bit the unsigned ranges. And that's something that you're going to need for a later lab. Um, the lab for Irvine Chapter 3, one of the things you're going to have to do in that is um, um, for the variables that you're going to be creating, for the unsigned variables, indicate what the ranges are. And so there's a slide that's embedded in the Irvine that shows what they are for 8, 16, and 32 bits. I just step through right here what it is um, for, uh, for 8 bits. Um, okay, so this is... Enough for right now, so intro to binary and unsigned.